All right, so today I'm doing four things. This is going to be the first one, which is Calic Converters. OK, so let's see if I can draw a car. Woo, bright green. I'm not very good at drawing cars, as one can see. But anyway, that's a car. We'll make this a gasoline uh, vehicle. Um, how about we make uh, this, the tailpipe? Um, if it's a gasoline engine, we're going to have emissions. The emissions we worry about are certainly going to be things like carbon monoxide, uh, VOCs, that's volatile organic compounds, otherwise known as unburnt fuel, perhaps. Um, it could be a range of other things as well. And we are also going to have some NOx emissions. Now, the catalytic converter helps to lower those emissions. Often it's going to sit here, and in some of the new vehicles, it might be closer to the engine, uh, just because it'll help warm up a little bit quicker, and that's going to be helpful in the uh, winter when we have carbon monoxide issues. But anyway, here are our uh, emissions, and of course, we might also get some emissions when we fill up, and so we might get some VOCs that way. They're going to cause some environmental challenges, but they're not going to get dealt with with a catalytic converter, of course. So, a three-way catalytic converter, what does that mean? Well, we have three things we want to take care of, and we are going to use three different catalysts to do that. So, carbon monoxide is going to get oxidized to carbon dioxide. The VOCs are going to get oxidized to uh, H2O and CO2. While the NOx is going to get reduced to N2. So, this is an oxidation. This is an oxidation. This is a reduction. Now, it's impressive that we can do these oxidative and reduction steps together. And for that to happen, our oxygen levels have to be at the right, um, the right level. And so somewhere we're going to have an O2 sensor that's telling us we have enough oxygen in the system, and if not, it adds in a little more. And so if any of you have ever had your oxygen uh, sensor replaced, um, it is related to the catalytic converter. Now, if it was a, a diesel engine, in this case, it's very difficult to have a catalytic converter. We're still going to get our NOx emissions. We're going to get a lot of particulate matter. We're also going to get carbon dioxide. Particulate matter would overwhelm a catalytic converter. We're starting to see some improvements in that area. Um, and so obviously, uh, we're, we're now starting to see catalytic converters go on things like stoves and uh, even some uh, diesel automobiles. And so uh, that's how it works. Uh, we'll talk about catalytic converters in a little while.